it's Rebecca here from Glutorama. I'm here with my daughter Bethany. Um, she's going to help me try out some Christmas puddings today because quite frankly I couldn't do this all on my own because um, I'm going to be fat as a pig after this if I do. This isn't an exclusive representation of all the gluten-free puddings that there are on the market at the moment um, because one it was going to be too expensive for me to buy all the puddings out there and um, two, some of them, some of the shops we don't have locally anyway so I wouldn't have been able to source them anyway. So um, I'll run you through what we have got. Uh, I've got this one that I got from Lidl's the other day. Oh and by the way, what I'm going to do in the um, comments underneath the, uh, the video, I'm going to uh, list each of the puddings, where they came from and how much they were. I've got one of the ones from Aldi. Now, Lidl's and Aldi, they don't do miniature individual size puddings. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to, well, we're not going to eat all of it, but <laughs> we're going to have to, um, we're going to have to use a, a giant pudding for the purpose of this video. Uh, we have also got these miniature ones. So we've got the Sainsbury's free from, the Tesco's Finest Free From and last but not least we have got the Co-op Free From Puddings. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to heat all of these up. Um, do you want brandy butter on yours? Yeah, brandy butter. So we're going to have them with brandy butter which is, um, do you want the dairy free one or the normal one? This video is a free from video. Do you want me to do dairy-free butter, brandy butter? Okay, so she's going to actually have my dairy-free brandy butter, which is the first. Um, and then um, when we come back, we will be trying all the puddings out. If it tastes terrible, I'm having the normal one. <laughs> up the first three. I've heated up the miniature individual ones first so oh I was going to bring a serving spoon in. Oh, never mind. Do you want me to go? No it's okay. How, who's blowing my candles out? It's me talking on my candles. Right which one's this one? This one is the that one. Tesco's finest first. So do you want a bit of butter with it? Yeah. No, let's go on. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. It's got grapes in it. It's got what in it? Grape. They're called raisins. It's a grape. I know it's probably glacé cherries or something. Mm. Right, so while you're eating that, the Tesco's finest one um, is free from gluten and wheat, but it does have nuts, milk and egg in it. And I don't tolerate milk and egg very well, so um, I'm going to need the gabba's gone later. But never mind. This is all in the name of science. Is there actually cake in these or is it just fruit? It's quite packed full of fruit, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Right, okay. And then we've got this one, which actually is a completely different colour. This is the Sainsbury's one. This one's a bit more cakey, Bethany. So, oh, the Sainsbury's one is, it's free from all products actually. So this one only has egg in it, so it's free from wheat, gluten, milk and nuts. And you've got it all over the table. I'm scared to put it in my mouth. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> right, okay. <laughs> That's unfortunate. It's yucky. <laughs> and um, this is the co-op. I need more butter. Put some more butter on it. Lots of butter. Butter, butter, butter. Mm. I've lost my spoon. By the way, I'm only here for the butter. Mm. Which one? That one. Oh, and the ingredients for the co-op. This one is actually completely free from, so this doesn't have... That explains it. It doesn't have um, wheat, gluten, eggs, milk, nuts. This is completely free from, so I can actually eat this one. These are nothing but fruit. And the only one that had cake in it was disgusting. Why am I here? It's just fruit. It's just cooked fruit. Don't you agree there's too much fruit? What's your favourite one so far? Well, the first one. Yeah, I know. Me too. But I don't see why they've made it free from. There's no cake in it. It's just fruit. Well, the, the reason that it's finest is because the idea being that it's absolutely jam-packed. Mm. Right, I need to heat up the other two now. So, these are the last two puddings. I already don't like them. They are um, the Lidl and the Aldi one. And they've both got milk in them, but other than that, they're free from... Wheat, gluten, nuts, and egg. It looks like it's made of jelly. Where did my spoon go? In your bowl. Where? Oh, oh yeah. That. <coughs> so, give these two a go. You're not a fan of Christmas pudding anyway, really, are you? You're not the best person to do a video with. It tastes like jelly. It feels like jelly. But with alcohol. Do you know what? These both look identical. And I think they taste identical as well. Don't you think so? Um. They're okay. Mm. They do taste identical. Yeah, yeah, they do. They taste identical. I think the best one has been the, um, the Tesco's Finest. Wrap. It's just got a different wrap on mm. I think the best one's been the Tesco's Finest. Mm. One point to make, when you do Christmas pudding, don't microwave them. Obviously, I've just microwaved them for the ease of this, this video. But it is so much better when you steam them. Much, much better. Um, and I think definitely in the case of a free from uh, Christmas pudding, if you steam it, you're going to get a more moist um, sponge at the end of it because these are quite these are quite tough. But having said that, again, the um, the Tesco's finest um, was actually quite nice. I liked that one. That was the best one, wasn't it? Mm. So there you go, quick rundown of Christmas puddings that we've got in our local area and both of us <laughs> agree that, um, thank you Lewis, both of us agree that um, the uh, Tesco's finest free from Christmas pudding tastes the best.